did Yankee just get a hundred thousand dollar windfall? No. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. No, I I, I didn't win $100,000. I didn't get it in an inheritance. Uh, nope, I didn't. But someone very close to me, someone that I know very well, did. And I'm so excited for them. They actually got over... Uh, whoa, what's this? Boy... I missed one. <laughs> they actually got over $100,000, more like uh, $150,000, I think, maybe. Uh, but they have some debts they're going to be able to um, pay off. And the gentleman said, Yankee, I've got $100,000 that I would absolutely love to be able to invest cash. Hmm. <laughs> What am I, a financial advisor? <laughs> no, I told him, I said, have you talked to your financial advisor? That's the first thing I said. He said, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, he thinks I should invest it in the stock market and all this stuff. Okay, well, um, so what we did is we first started to talk about his overall portfolio. And, and I told him, I said, I'll give you my, my best advice, but again, it's just mine. Uh, we talked about his IRA and his um, uh, annuity. So he does have money in the stock market quite a bit. And I told him, I said, maybe this would be a great time to start reallocating it. Uh, he has some, uh, I won't say risky, but uh, higher risk uh, mutual funds. And I gave him some advice around that. That's not what this video is about. <laughs> and then we also um, talked about private mortgage lending. You know, and I said, you know, uh, you know what I do with this. And he does. He knows what I do. And um, I said, how about we head over to the company that I do the private mortgage lending with and sit down with, with, uh, with them and have them explain what they do with me and see if it's right for you. But again, that's really not, not what this video is about. This video is about what to stack if you had $25,000 out of the $100,000. And he's really interested in getting into precious metal stacking, which I'm excited about. So right after we left the company uh, where I do my lending, I said, dude, let's go to the local coin shop. Let's go to Tim's. Come on, man, let's go. This will be so much fun. <laughs> And he was like, yeah, let's do it. So I'll, I'll show you some clips from it. It was a lot of fun. Tim was really happy to see me. And, and it was really cool to be able to introduce him and, you know, just kind of show him around, show him the different stuff that I stack, some of the things that I don't stack but are really beautiful. And uh, so we talked about that for a while. Um, just had a good time with Tim. Um, you know, he asked a lot of questions. Tim was very knowledgeable. And it was kind of neat to hear Tim say that a lot of people are going to his uh, local coin shop saying that Yankee sent me. Or, do you know Yankee? Or, or do you watch YouTube? And do you know, watch Yankee uh, Stacking's channel? And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Tim was like, dude, <laughs> you're sending a lot of people here. So I was very happy about that. I was like, good. Supporting him, he deserves it. So I'm hoping he can get into and wants to get into the lending that I do with private mortgages. So if that's say 75,000 that he does with that, what should he put the other $25,000 into? I'm asking you guys that, and I'm gonna show right here what I would suggest he does with that $25,000. <laughs> All right, first thing I think he should pick up is gold. That's right, gold. He Remember, he has no precious metals, right? So that helps. I know the rest of his portfolio, so that helps me a bit too. But right now, the first thing I think he should buy is gold. And not a Yankee cannon necessarily, <laughs> but I suggest that he pick up quarter ounce gold maple leaves 
one of my absolute favorite fractional gold to stack. I'm going to bring this one in. It doesn't have a, a cap on it. Uh, the cover's off. And you can just see how gorgeous. <laughs> but it's not just 24 karat yumminess. There's other great aspects to a Canadian gold maple leaf. There's the security features that they have in the newer ones, which I think are really important, uh, like those radial lines and the uh, privy marks. We're talking a quarter ounce. So the premiums are, are quite low for a quarter ounce. Uh, when you get into the 10th ounce or 20 ounce, you're paying a lot for that. It is four nines fine gold. Oh, did I mention it's 24 karat? <laughs> and the Royal Canadian Mint loves to change these up a bit. I think I actually have another one here. It has the uh, maple leaf on it, but it is a more of a commemorative. And yeah, it has Queenie on the other side. <laughs> but they, they have all kinds of different styles and stuff. So it's really fun as well as a great way to stack. But gold would be my number one choice. And I would think... The best way to go would be one tube. Now, I'm going to uh, show you an Atmex price for one tube of quarter ounce Canadian maple leaves uh, as of today, and it's Saturday. You can see the price right up there and what it's at, uh, where gold's at. It's over 15 now. And I think it's possible he can do better than that. But for, for the sake of this video, I'm going to use these... Uh, screenshots these amounts right here as sort of the basis of uh, of uh, the pricing here. So for twenty, we're looking at eight thousand two hundred dollars. All right, so let's uh, let's slide these out of the way and let's bring my second suggestion for him. <laughs> Should be no surprise. It's a monster box of American Silver Eagle. So we had a lot of fun, uh, you know, had a lot of fun showing him the American Silver Eagles uh, that uh, Tim had. And I explained how I like to get them. I like to get them either cull or BU. There's benefits to both. Here's a, a, a roll of circulated. You can see some of the toning on the sides. I don't care. I'm going for the metal. Here's a, a BU. So... I showed him that. I said, you know, American Silver Eagles, fantastic way to stack government silver, uh, government minted silver bullion. Woo! Awesome. I want to show you something else. Yeah, I got one more roll. <laughs> Tube it up. 2018. All right. That's 24 tubes of American Silver Eagles. But when I was there, I had to get just one more American Silver Eagle. There it is, 1991. Yeah. Looks pretty good. It had some toning on it and I cleaned it. <laughs> yeah. So that goes into my tube right now of circulated eagles. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what does that mean? That means that I am one American Silver Eagle away from having exactly one half of, of a monster box. I you know, I, I do have an I do have some other American Silver Eagles, you know, some of the painted ones like uh, like this one. Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not xyleaning this. So technically I have a half a monster box of American Silver Eagles. Okay, so I'm pretty pretty excited about that. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me to get this side filled up. But it's coming. So, anyways, back to my friend uh, that has some money to spend. My friend with money to spend. He's got to get a monster box. I really, really hope he gets 500 strapped American Silver Eagles. And what would that be? That would be $10,400. Again, there's the Atmex price. Now, you know, I'm sure if he looked around, he could probably knock off 100 or maybe $200 from that. But let's, uh, let's go with that. So let's... Uh, Yeah. 
use the force and get that out of here. So what's the next thing that I would suggest that he gets? Constitutional silver. Yes. Oh, wow. This is the next round. And I, I talked to him about what constitutional silver is, what 90% uh, silver is, you know, um, why it was minted, what it's good for, how I stack it. I think he's very interested in it as well. So I think he should get a bag, <laughs> a $100 face value bag of either Kennedy's or Benji's. Now, I don't care which one really they're both pretty cool. I can see a rationale for Kennedy. Maybe less wear because they're newer. 1964 at least. I can see the rationale for a Benjamin Franklin bag. You know? Um, from a, a recognizability or from a trust standpoint, they're pretty much the same. That's going to run them about $1,437. Hmm. Okay, that's the half dollars. How about quarters? Oh, yes, he should get another $100 face value of pre-1965 Washington quarters. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> I actually love the quarters a lot. This is, a, I think, a really great um, size to get. Quarters would run them about $1,366. So we've got half dollar, a bag of half dollars, a bag of quarters, and now a bag of dimes. Now he could get, um, I mean, you know, mercury dimes, but if you notice, mercury dimes can really get worn. So I told him, eh. Rosies. Yes. Go with the Rosies. Get a $100 face value bag of dimes. That's going to run him $1,366. Atmex has them on sale. Hmm. Interest. Interesting. So there you have it. You got the gold back here. You got the monster box of American Silver Eagles. And you've got Constitutional Silver. What do you think? Oh. Wait a minute. There's one more thing. <laughs> he loves bars. What is with people in bars? Oh my word. He was like, ooh, are those bars? Ooh, that's a bar. Ooh, 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 how about those bars? <laughs> okay. I don't usually get bars for a variety of reasons I'm not going to go into on this video, but... It is one of the lowest cost ways of stacking silver. So I would at least suggest that he gets a well-known bar, maybe not an Inglehard, but, but maybe a sunshine minting bar with the security feature on the reverse. So how about we get 10, 10 ounce, Sunshine minting bars. So 10 is 1,950. We should probably add all this up and see what we get. Let's let's get this out of here. And there. Let's let's do the calculations. So the first one was the tube of quarter ounce gold maple leaves. Mm. The total? 8,200. Then we get to the monster box, 10,400. Still think you could do better than that, but let's go with it. Then $100 face value of half dollars. I don't care if they're Benji's or, or Kennedy's. That is 1,437. Ooh, 100 face value of the quarters. That is 1,366. And the dimes were also thirteen sixty six on sale at Atmex. <laughs> and finally, those 10, 10 ounce sunshine minting bars. Sometimes you just got to do it, right? <laughs> and that was nineteen fifty. Grand total, ooh, 
$24,719. Guys, that gives him some latitude there. I mean, if the price goes up a little bit or, or maybe he can buy an extra, I don't know, a Canadian Maple Leaf or something. But that's really close to the $25,000 that I think he should spend on precious metals. So that's what I think. What do you think? Give me your feedback. Give me your ideas of what my friend should buy. In fact, I told him I was going to be doing this video. He thought it was awesome. He was so excited. He wants to hear what you're going to say. What should he buy? So, um, you know, if you think I'm way off, do you think I should start with silver? Is the monster box too much? Should I go full Yankee cannon? <laughs> what, what should he do for $25,000? And uh, that's about it. I want to thank you all for watching Yankee Stacking. Hit the hit the uh, subscribe button down there if, if you haven't subscribed to my channel. I really would appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up. Even share the video if you want. I mean, I would really appreciate that too. I would love to get as much feedback on this video as possible. So that's it. Thank you so much. And I hope your day is a-okay.